What's up, babes? It's your girl Destiny here, and I am back with another video. Yo. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to have a spa day at the Ritz Carlton and Charlie. And guys, I'm so excited. Like, I just love how my birthday weekend is going. We got a hotel. And then now I'm having a spa day. So this birthday was really like a staycation. So I didn't go out of town or anything, but I am like doing things in the city that I would like to do. And I did book a massage with the Ritz Carlton and I'm so excited because they renovated this spa. So I know it's about to be like mind blowing. It is currently 12.58. I'm gonna get there at 1.11 and my massage is not until 4.30, but she suggested that I come early so I can get to experience like all of the amenities and everything that they have. So I don't know if they're gonna let me record y'all, but of course I'm gonna have my phone and I brought both of my cameras. So hopefully they don't be tripping, but I don't think they are. I mean, I've been seeing like on TikTok and stuff and they be letting them record. So we gonna see though, we gonna see. And I'm excited. Self care, new beginnings new journey i start my new job tomorrow i'm just really happy with life right now and i know 2024 is gonna be filled with amazing blessings from god because i can just feel it in my spirit like this is the year of me prospering and no matter what anybody thinks or what anybody has an opinion on it doesn't matter if God accepts me. It doesn't matter if God already has it written in his will. Anything that is supposed to be for you is going to happen for you because it's not for anybody else. It's for you. And another thing like that I live by is faith over fear. Faith is the biggest weapon against fear. Anytime you're fearing, feeling like fearful or like you're scared to do something, that's a sign that you even need to do it more because you need to have faith in God that no matter what happens, you, you might not know what's going to happen. But I'm going to tell you, something good is going to happen because you have faith. You believe in God and God's plan for you. Oh, baby, you're going to prosper. And it's not going to always be easy. I feel like as Christians, we always have it like the worst way possible. And I just feel like, bruh. These people, I'll tell you, they don't know how to drive around here. Like, God, please help these people learn how to drive. But what I was saying was, I feel like as Christians, I feel like we have it the hardest sometimes because people have a lot to say about Christianity. Like, a lot. When I mean a lot, I, I feel like everybody has so many different opinions about Christianity. And I feel like as Christians, like, we get things... 10 times harder than any other religion because it's true and we're the daughters and sons of the highest king like somebody not to be played with that's why when some people really be playing with God I be like bruh this is not a joke because someday we all have to leave this earth and when you leave this earth you're gonna have to answer to everything that you did on this earth that's why it's so important to have God in your life, I'm telling you. And when you have God in your life, you just feel so more at peace, so more like not worrying about certain stuff because you know at the end of the day, you can do your part, but God is also working in your favor. So you always like, I don't know, like I can't explain it. If you know, you know, like just being a Christian, it's a certain type of peace that you feel and even when you're not at peace. You pray and once you pray, it's like an hour or a couple minutes after that, you'll be feeling so like a relief. And it's just amazing like to have somebody as a God like that. Like, I love God. But guys, I'll check back in with y'all when I get there. I just had to go on my little rant because I feel like I needed to say that message to somebody out there watching this video. 
God is with you. And God is always with you. And no matter what the enemy tries to do, you are the daughter or sons of the Most High King. He cannot do anything to you. The enemy will try to play mind games. The enemy will try to bring people close to you in your life to try to make you revert back to old ways that is not of God. And you have to realize that because God will not bless you with something bigger until you get over removing those people out of your life that are not of God. So I'm not saying that you don't, you can't love him anymore. Or you can't be cool with him anymore. I'm just saying, keep it at a minimum because at the end of the day, you gotta understand everything is spiritual in this world. So I don't know what type of spirits they might have if they're not of God, and you don't want that projected onto you. And y'all know exactly what I mean. So, anyways, we are seven minutes away. Let me pay attention to my GPS, and I'll check back in with y'all when I get there. Thank you. 